Bora. Oh, great. Ah, right, I was panicking for a second. <laughs> All right, let me uh, close this. Right, great. Hey, guys. Uh, can everybody hear me all right? something in the chat if you can hear me or if you can't that would be great Right, uh, everything seems to be fine. Ah, great. Alright, good to hear. Uh, I'm doing good, how are you? Um, is this my first time streaming with uh, Pixelogic? Um, hey, hey Ruslan. I uh, hope I got your name right. Uh, is this my first time streaming with Pixelogic? Um, uh, so just a quick introduction to myself. Uh, my name is Luke, Luke Chop. Uh, I'm a character artist at Frontier Development in Cambridge. Uh, and I mainly enjoy uh, sculpting organic characters and creatures, which is... Uh, yeah, mainly my thing. Um, so for today, uh, I figured we'd sculpt the Predator, which uh, I hope uh, some of you are familiar with. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just trying to figure out how much I can get done, um, you know, with interacting with you guys, so the Predator seemed like a safe option. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. I'll try and keep an eye on the chat. Let me know if anything pops up or if you have any questions. I'm going to be streaming for at least two hours, and yeah, let's just see how it goes. Have some fun. Right. It's quickly getting my general brush settings down. Hey George, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah, so far I am. Um. 
Uh, so I'm going to sketch the predator for today. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if you've seen the movie. He's like... Uh, he's this guy. Hey, Nemi. Yeah. OBS has, seems to have this kind of bug where um, it extends my uh, tablet surface onto my second screen. So I'm just trying to quickly get used to that. Uh, let me load my custom brush. Oh, no problem. Um, yeah, like I'll try and share some of my knowledge, I guess. If you have any questions, just ask. Hey, Monty. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm new, I'm new. It's my first stream here. Um, so when I'm doing studies, I quite like to start with the sphere, but, uh, you know, at work, if we have a base mesh, I just use a base mesh. Um, Sure. Um, so, hmm. uh, I'm partially not sure if I'm fully qualified to uh, share that, but. Uh, Um, so, oh god, <laughs> um, George, I'll have a, uh, no, sorry, uh, Monty, I'll have, a, I'll have a think about a question so I can give you a proper answer. Um, if it does slip my mind, just remind me. Um, thank you, George. Um, so with this, for creatures like this, I mostly kind of riff off of um, the human skull. Um, you know where the bone marks are, uh, bone lap marks are there. <laughs> Thank you. Oops. Um, so just have a rough sheet. Uh, Oh, Monty, don't, don't worry, it'll come with time. Like, uh, I've been doing this for uh, six years. I've been sculpting for six years, so just don't worry about it. It comes, it comes with time. Um, yeah, so like I'm... So like I, I am kind of just mashing together a bunch of photographs uh, of the predator of this guy. Uh, so just see what I like and what I, what I don't. And I'm just gonna mash things together. Wide. 
Um, Um, that really depends. Like sometimes I would go for quality over quantity definitely. Um, and I would mainly focus on just doing really good like a really good making a really good piece uh, instead of focusing on getting a lot, if that makes sense. Let me see if I'm focal length eighty five. Yeah, like it's it's really tough to get a uh, your foot in the door in this industry, honestly. Oops. All oh, right. Uh, in case it's any help, uh, I'm from I'm from Switzerland, so I can kind of relate to the whole country not really supporting art. Uh, so uh, I basically had to teach myself in the end. Just kind of looking for lots of tutorials online and just kind of winging it. Predator. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm doing I'm doing a predator. <clears throat> Oh. <laughs> 
Thank you. Uh, no, for production we normally get a base mesh and a concept, um, so it's not, I don't get to design as much normally. Uh, there are exceptions, but I wouldn't normally start from a sphere. Uh, it does depend. Um, like sometimes you can use quite a lot of it, and sometimes you uh, end up having to simplify a lot of the shapes just because what you're doing could be quite different. But you know, one way or another, it's always good to have a base uh, to speed things up. I like guess uh, like you only really use a, um, at least in my opinion, the only reason why I use a base mesh in production is just a speed thing. Oh no, like I'm, I'm gonna split it off eventually. Just right now, it's it's a bit easier to manage uh, if everything is kind of part of the same. Let's see, okay, I normally uh, stay in Dynamesh for quite a while until I have all the features kind of locked down. Um, just this guy's very blurry right now. So I'm going to be streaming for at least two hours. Uh, I might go for a bit longer just so we have something presentable at the end of this one. Um, that's not just kind of a, a blob. <laughs> Thank you. I don't even know, I think it's kind of a personal preference. Um, I'm not fully sure on this, but supposedly 85 is close to the human eye, uh, at least the focal length. That's what I heard from, like, it's quite mixed. Like, different people have different focal lengths, uh, but mine is at 85 right now. Let's 
Should I get kind of some sort of structure in before I push this any further? Uh, yeah, yeah, I work in games. Uh, so I'm currently working at Frontier Developments uh, in Cambridge. Like I've been working there for uh, nearly two years. Face masking. Um, I'm not sure what you mean with deleting half your mesh. Do you mean if it gets like holes? Shouldn't do that. Is it like a, a thin surface that you're working with then? Or do you mean like the level of detail? that I don't think that has ever happened to me. Yeah. That's what you should normally do. Um, and if you do want to avoid just getting issues with thin surfaces, just uh, turn on back face masking. So like that way you don't uh, don't affect the other side. Whereas if you have it turned off, you get you get this, which you know you don't want. Oh wow! Yeah, I honestly don't know, man. Um, it has never happened to me. Thank you. 
<laughs> yeah. I just... Oh, no, okay. I was just seeing comments from YouTube for a second, so I just... Some I thought I was only getting comments from there. Uh, no, like, I'm just working with, uh... With a very old Intuos 3. Um... I used to have a Cintiq, uh, 2020 Cintiq, uh, but I ended up just kind of selling it, uh, mainly just because it started getting really uncomfortable uh, with my back. So I just kind of got this really old Cintiq, uh, Intuos. Yeah, I'm not picking that up. <laughs> Sorry, someone just called. No, nobody's ever told me that. Uh, I'll take that as a compliment, I guess. Yeah, I mean, yeah, in general, you should just try and take breaks. Because um, if you do it for, to sculpt for too long, you're going to feel it after a while. Like, it's really unhealthy. Um, kind of a hypocrite in that department, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah, you gotta get up more frequently in the stretch, but like, yeah, uh, I've done similar things. I do not recommend it. Yeah. Fedator. So, like, you're asking if I'm being paid? Uh, no, 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 I'm not being paid. It's just kind of like a fun thing. Hey, Alex. Yeah, no, I, I agree. It's always fun to see how other people work. I 
feels very large right now. Um, so normally I, I like to switch to subdivisions when I just have all kind of the main features blocked in, and then I'm gonna, not gonna do too many proportional changes, and I just want to refine surfaces. Hey Andre, how are you doing? Uh, no, I don't have any plans to 3D print this. It's kind of meant to be a fun sculpt. Yeah, yeah, I'm good too. gotten very hot uh, here in Cambridge. Well, not very hot, but just quite a bit warmer than usual. Um, oh, nice. What did you sculpt? Um, so, you can see my portfolio if you just type it into uh, our station. And it should pop up. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I saw it. I might have seen it. Um, if you're also in, in the Pixelogic team. But yeah, like I've never uh, 3D printed anything. Uh, yeah, sure. Like I can try and do a bit of a. Uh, yeah, talk you guys through this a bit. Uh, so currently I'm still trying to get uh, kind of the basic features and shapes of this guy blocked in uh, and then I'm going to yeah, zero mesh it. problem. Yeah, like if you if you have any questions, uh, just let me know. Hey, Sai. Um, oh, nice, Evans. Um, so when I'm uh, to answer B's question, uh, when I'm sculpting like this, I am somewhat trying to keep uh, some sort of human anatomy going. Uh, even though you know this guy is quite out there, uh, but I just somehow try to uh, kind of visualize an underlying skeleton uh, and have the. Um, Ugh. I have the like the uh, body landmarks you normally get in a skull. Try to get those in. So you know, like things like cheekbones and uh, the orbits. Ooh, I'm just gonna restream 
check award for receiving 100 messages today. Uh, this right now is Dynamesh, uh, but I did add a subdivision just because I can't be bothered right now to um, divide it again. Alright, see you around, B. Thanks so much. That's cool. Uh, which one did you have in mind? Uh, like which tablet? Um, so I'm currently only using snake hook for the teeth, just so I get an idea of where they are. Uh, but later on, I, I will make them separate, uh, like separate objects. Yeah, yeah, like the paper feeling thing isn't. I'm not. I'm not a fan. I'm not really sure why it's being pushed as much as it as it is, since it wears down your nibs nibs really really fast. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Snake cook is great. Oh, it's getting laggy. Thank you, Elfie Chan. <laughs> uh, probably because I just, I don't know, I never really could be bothered to um, make my own custom UI. I keep telling myself it's like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll make, I'll make a custom UI soon, soon, and you know, like shortcuts and everything. But uh, yeah, I still haven't, and it's been like six years. Um, but you know, one day maybe. All right, I think this guy should be ready to be zero meshed soon. <laughs> yep. One day. What, you want me to UV unwrap this mesh? Uh, 
I don't know. I don't really plan on um, texture painting this, to be honest. Like, yeah. Um, it's actually, uh, I actually ended up learning ZBrush on Z Classroom after Fend recommended me. Recommended it to me. Oh no no I'm just I'm just doing the uh, um, I'm just doing the head. There's not enough time for the body. Um, I don't feel that confident to be honest to make a body in this short amount of time on a stream. So I'm just doing the head. So with the spikes, do you mean like the small spikes he was in his face? <laughs> yes. Let's get the default body from uh, ZBrush. That's cool. Are you gonna do it for like a cosplay or just just for fun? Alright, see you, Ashley. Thanks. Uh, so I've been using ZBrush for six years now, I think. At least I started using it six years ago. Wait, really? I didn't even know. Oh yeah, it's been like 44 minutes, Jesus. Thank you. Alright, um, I'll look at it in a bit, like I quite, have quite a large, um, quite a large rep sheet right now. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, if you want to buy ZBrush, uh, the only place you can really buy it is uh, the Pixelogic page. I wouldn't recommend you getting it anywhere else.
Yeah, that's the place. Thanks, Alex. Um, so not, not sure if, it depends on the time zone you're in, um, but the schedule for who's streaming is on, yeah, exactly. Uh, the link Alex sent. Thanks, Alex. Thank you. <laughs> Doing all the work for me. Do you mean uh, ZBrush Core Mini? Uh, no, I'm not gonna make. I'm not gonna make a full body, uh, just because of time constraints. Because sadly, not enough time. Um, I did do a full body sculpt like years ago when I started, um, and that took quite a while. Chatting to some people, being recommended. Uh, so, if you have any questions, uh, you can message me later if you want. Um, like on, uh, I don't know, Facebook. You should normally get my art station if you just uh, search my name. Um, but I'm quickly going to paste it in the. Where's the chat? And the chat here.
so for ZBrush, um, you're better off having uh, more RAM, since it doesn't, from what I know, it doesn't really utilize the GPU as much. So if you have a good uh, processor and a uh, good amount of RAM, you're fine. Hey, I know. Uh, just Dynamesh right now. I'm trying to figure out which, with which reference I'm gonna go. Um, so I think I'm gonna make like some spikes here, maybe. That could be fun. Oh, thank you. Really appreciate it. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I'm on a PC, uh, Windows 10. All right, I think this is probably good enough to zero mesh. Um, Sure how much of a fan I am of just how busy this gets here. So I'm tone it down a bit. Uh yeah, yeah, I normally do. I think I've used uh, Mari before, uh, but only very, very briefly. Um, so I do. I, I just prefer Substance right now. I might try to learn it at some point. But, um, not right now. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is a barrage of question. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm on YouTube Pixel Logic. Um, not sure why Substance will be lagging. It's probably because um, either your GPU isn't strong enough, or you might have to update your drivers, or um, you're painting at too high of a text resolution. For the topology, I, I normally just. Uh, Uh, I don't really use Maya now these days. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I heard 3D code can be quite good. Oh, what, what kind of GPU do you have? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we use uh, Maya at work, so. It's best to keep where I just do a retopology now. Um, I do. I do agree. Um, like it's quite, it's getting quite saturated. Um, so you just, it's getting harder and harder to kind of push through. It is possible though.
as long as you tell a story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does a bit. Um, let me make an offset because it's too repetitive right now. Like the spikes. So I'm just going to create two here. I'm just going to break up the uh, repeating shape. If I can. Um, so I'm not sure what you mean. Is it just in terms of doing studies? Like, are you not sure with if you should start from a sphere or a base mesh? this for fun. Oops. So just back to um <laughs> thank you. Uh yeah, yeah I did. I'm just gonna try and tweak the facial proportions a bit since they feel a bit odd right now. Uh I don't know, I'll probably just I don't know like how to really answer that question. As in, how would we top we apologize this for a game? Um, like normally, you just want clean loops uh, around areas that deform, so not the eyes. Um, and you. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, so basically, what you want kind of clean loops, and uh, you want to use quads around areas that deform. Um, but I. I don't think I can give you like a proper description of how I would exactly we topologize this. Oh right. Um I I, I do it in Maya or 3D's Max. Like I just prefer those tools and yeah, those use those at work, so Uh, I have done hard surface before. Um, it's kind of been a while, to be honest. I feel there are definitely people that are more proficient when it comes to hard surface sculpting. Um, that is the wrong mask brush. Uh, so I'm just doing now is I'm quickly prepping stuff for uh, using zero measure. So I'm just gonna um, so there's this fold above your eye uh, above your eyelid that I quite like to have in in the low poly. So I'm just exaggerating this right now so it carries over when I zero mesh this. Uh, well, it'll make sense later. Oof. Um, it's really hard to tell, to be honest.
uh, cycles in, in terms of the renderer from uh, Blender. I, I honestly don't know. Maybe like uh, it depends on the level of detail that you want. Yeah, I mean you don't you don't really need like clean topology in a way on the horns. Um, as long as as you preserve the silhouette, and of course you don't use an excessive amount, you're fine. But it doesn't have to be perfect. Like I'm, I would be more concerned just about around kind of this area uh, where you have all the moving parts of the stretching skin. Buying the ZBrush core, waiting to get the full one if you have the money. It really depends what you want to use ZBrush for. And to be honest, I'm not that familiar with, familiar with ZBrush core. Like uh, I, you know, I'm using the full version here. I've always used the full version. Uh, but I think if, if you're doing more uh, kind of as a hobbyist or you're trying to get into ZBrush, um, I guess I would recommend it. Uh, no, I would not use your measure for the final topology, just because um, you can't really control, you can control to some extent um, in which area you, you get, you know, you have higher density and lower density. Um, but, for example, it's quite hard to just get like proper clean topology out for animation. Um, so it's more just, um, I personally just use your measure to um, uh, get some nice topology to sculpt with. But for games, you, you don't want to use your measure as a final low poly. <laughs> um, it's funny because I feel like after a while, you kind of get to appreciate it. Like it's kind of, it can be quite relaxing. Oh yeah, ZBrush Core is mini. Uh, mini is free, uh, but the normal ZBrush Core is. I think it's just a reduced price. Uh, I do think you are going to need uh, Retopo for Unreal. 
Like so far, they only showed it off on uh, meshes that don't deform really. I don't really think it's going to go away anytime. Oh uh, yeah, it should be. I wouldn't see why it wouldn't be archived. Like zero mesh? Sorry, I'm just quickly checking something. Uh, right. I'm going to zero mesh it around now, I think. It's gonna quickly split off the teeth. Oh, I can't go higher. It's a shame. Uh, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna UV unwrap it here. Uh, there is a document about UV unwrapping on and ZBrush Docs, and there should be videos about it uh, on Z Classroom. So if you guys want to have a look at that, uh, it sh should ho hopefully be useful. I uh, wouldn't see why not. Okay, let's see. Group split. this again. I like, I don't know, 300 I guess. Oh, that's very dense. That's fine. Like here? That kind of lumpy? Sorry guys, someone's trying to call me. Right back.
Right, no problem. Oh, actually, uh, actually, quick thing. Um, Sorry guys, we've got to do something around the house. Um, I would normally turn off the symmetry quite late. So I'm just quickly gonna clean up the caps here. Uh, no, it's just that version is the one I have installed right now. I uh, just haven't upgraded to the newest one. Uh, I hope so. Like so far, it's been quite fun. So these days I've been baking in marmoset a lot. Uh, I used to bake in substance as well. Uh, but like I've used, you know, I've used things like uh, X normal as well. Uh, but yeah, marmoset is quite powerful and just very efficient.
textures and like in Marmoset 4. Look, I haven't I haven't tried Marmoset 4 yet. Uh, I still have three, mainly just because I I don't have a, an RTX GPU. Um, like I used to use Blender years ago. Um, from what I've heard, it's actually really good. Like, I don't really know what's been going on that much with it, but I have a couple of friends that use it, and yeah, I haven't really heard any complaints so far. <laughs> Is an orange a good fruit? Um. Sure, I don't know. I like I like orange juice. <laughs> I don't know. This comes in. Oh yeah, like uh, I quite enjoy the modifier stack in Max.
Oh, I just split them off as um, groups uh, from the original data mesh. And I'm just gonna try to give them some sort of shape. Save this somewhere. There we go. Oh wow, and it's a good question. Um So like I normally, the way I do my anatomy studies is I kind of try to go through everything step by step. So, um, you know, instead of starting anatomy study, I'm like, oh god, uh, you know, I'm trying to do everything at once. I do like lots of studies where I'm just focusing on the overall structure first. Um, and then, you know, I, I go just over all the muscles again. Um, uh, and then, like you know, it's it's good to have like reference of scan, references of scan data as well, uh, as opposed to photos. Just because uh, photos, depending on the lighting, the shape can look quite different. But basically, I try to I try to break, kind of break it down as much as I can, and then try to make as many mistakes as I can as fast as possible. Uh, and then in the end, I just uh, I do a long study. So like the hands, I did they took me about I think I was in those for about ten days. But I would normally do like really fast studies. Uh, like I'd do like I don't know three studies in three hours, but they'd just be like really structural stuff or things like proportions. Uh. Yeah, hope that answers your question. No problem. Uh, so, I'm currently 22, uh, and I started working professionally as a character artist uh, nearly two years ago now. Same one as you, I hope. I mean, honestly, like, don't 
to worry about age. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. Oh, no, no. I'm not a senior. Uh, thanks, man. Let's see, I think this guy's actually just ready to zero mesh right now. So we get the break in of the jaw. Neck looks terrible. <laughs> uh, yeesh. So the current company I'm at is quite chill when it comes to that. Um, there are definitely places that can be quite tough to work for. Um, so like at the current company I'm at, we don't do crunch. Um, I like people are quite good with scheduling, depending on the project. Uh, I've been on this sculpt for one and a half hours. And I'm currently trying to get to the point where I zero mesh it, but I keep seeing areas I want to tweak more first. Uh, so let's see when that when that happens. Oh yeah, it definitely does. I honestly really can't give you a proper number on how long a full character would take uh, just because it really depends on the character um, and you know like um, on the quality of the concept you have or just how clear your vision for it is really and how far you want to push it so like all these variables so like I really can't give you a proper answer for that
Um, I need to ask for somebody who's been sculpting for less than a year. Um, probably, I don't know, take it easy. Especially now. Uh, try, try to focus on more fundamentals. Um, I'm just getting good shapes and proportions down before worrying about any details. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> as cheesy as it sounds. No problem. Oh shit, hey Tristan. Thanks. I'm good, I'm good. How have you been? How are how are things in LA? Hey man, nice to see you too. Um, let's see how we're gonna do this. Oh, nice. Have fun, dude. Don't don't go too crazy. <laughs>
I'm very lucky. <laughs> so something like this, I guess. your abs. He definitely does. Uh, let me try to darken the material a bit. There we go. Crane your abs. <sighs> Not me. If I'm, if I'm vegan or vegetarian. Everything. I'm quite surprised people are interested in these very niche topics. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, like I don't. I don't see the whole drama about it. Um, like, you know, people going off to each other about whatever they eat. Like, I don't really care. Oh, right. <laughs> that explains it. It makes a bit more sense. Alright, screw it. We're gonna zero mesh this. I'm gonna turn off the lighting. Okay. Nope, did not want to do that. Let's see, duplicate. Uh, I want to preserve. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I want to preserve. Eyes somewhat. Teeth. Kind of. Not really, actually. Maybe just the eyes. Oh, where were all the objects came apart? Uh, it's the button down here called Expose. Uh, you can also press Shift X. Uh, so I'm currently just trying to mark the areas where I want more density when I zero mesh it. Uh, I'm not sure I'm actually putting density on the gums. Uh, let's just see how it goes. Oh. Easy R. Come on, zero mesh a brush. There we go. Mm-hmm. 
my claw a bit sharper. Oof. Uh, so this is just the zero mesh guides brush. Like it can kind of help you uh, nudge zero mesh into um, creating lines, like creating a certain edge flow, just so that some things might be easier to sculpt later on. So I'm just going to preserve some edges. It's not that big a deal, to be honest, but uh, I like to do it. Yeah, the uh, hotkey for this brush is BZR. Yes, zero measure is amazing. Um, I really, really like it. Like, normally things look quite hideous in Dynamesh in comparison to when you start using zero mesh when you zero mesh it. You're like, oh how could I ever think <laughs> that was good? <laughs> um, but yeah just for, for me it gives me quite a lot of control. So are you gonna see in a minute what I mean. What do I do? This is fine. God, stop. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. That uh, was for our zero measure. Well, I mean, I guess it depends what you need topology for in the end. Um, but if it is for a game art piece that you want to put in your portfolio, I would definitely not recommend... Um, I would not recommend using zero measure at all. Uh, just because it's kind of a huge red flag. Like when we're looking at portfolios. I don't want to do this point. <laughs> Something here, I guess. Uh, no, no, this is a uh, ships in the default version of ZBrush. It's called the Zero Measure Guides Brush. So yeah, if you just press uh, B, Z, and then R, you get it. <laughs> Alright, so I normally like to zero mesh at a really, really low resolution. Um, just because it ends up giving me a lot of control about the form, uh, for the form later. Yeah. Um, I don't even know, man. Like these days, I normally just take a break. 
<laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, it's fine if I, like, it's not a focal point, really. Like, you're not going to really see that. So if I... Nah, I think it should be fine. Which is you reject this. Uh, let's let's jump down. Right, everything except these two. Reject, reject. Oh god, we really have water. Oh. Uh, hey, Miss Lorraine, how are you doing? <laughs> I, I sadly don't speak Spanish. Um. Uh, so my specs, so I'm not even sure right now. So I, I have 32 gigs of RAM and a very 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 old uh, i7 processor. Uh, I think it's from like 2013, which I should really get replaced. Um, and I have like a 980 Ti. I think I mentioned this before. But yeah, um, I don't think it's that special to be honest. Like it's not like a killer rig or anything, but it gets the gets the job done. All right. Let's see. Turn this back on. Get my eyeballs. My leg is falling asleep. <laughs> uh, no, not really. From what I know. Amazing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, let's put this on. Oh. I keep accidentally taking ZBrush snapshots when I really don't mean to. It's a bit derpy with his eyes being that far apart. Alright, now for the fun part. <laughs> we actually got his ear mesh, so... I know we jump a lot between subdivision levels. I had RGB turned on. Um, just because you... That's how I kind of try keep everything under control. So I'm just trying to give him a proper eyeball. Oh, that's weird. Um, does it give you an error? Or does it just not work at all? So yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Oh, huh. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, does it just do it on the wrong axis, or? Please tell me I have mirror turned on. Okay, I do. Thank God. 
times it'll get some reference. Yeah, like I always just sculpt on the I have my symmetry on with the x axis. Ah. So I think I'm just going to keep this one as a sculpt. Um, but yeah, normally I would... Uh, like I'm not going to show you guys how to do EVs, uh, sadly. Mostly because I actually... I don't think I know how to do EVs in ZBrush. Like I've, I've always done it in other software. Oh well, I just zero mesh it because it gives me more control over the mesh itself. Because I can I can jump between subdivisions. So and if I want to make large kind of proportional changes, I can just do this instead of. It's also like it's more, it's faster. Like there's quite a bit of delay if you do it uh, if you start moving things around or making really large changes on a very dense tiny mesh. and a half D. You mean like the setting within ZBrush? Yeah, Predator.
You mean inside of ZBrush? Oh yeah, no, um, like Dynamesh is over. I have everything uh, blocked in that I want to have blocked in. So let me just just messing around, trying to get things a bit more final. Uh, this would be nice to have something at the end of the stream because two hours already up. Um, I mean, I don't know, if you want to answer the people's questions, <laughs> you're more than welcome. Give me some shiny eyes. The object. There we go. Thank you. Um, I'm probably just going to render it in ZBrush, like uh, get some Photoshop passes out. That's probably going to be it. Oh, God. Uh, but I'm not going to do that off stream. If anything, mm -mm. thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm not. This is not going to be like a game match or anything. Oh yeah, 
I know realistic human faces are really, really hard. Uh, especially things like likenesses. Um, which is why I'm doing the predator and not a human face right now. Um, <laughs> Maybe, maybe I'll do that. Could be fun. Bit weird though, but who cares? <laughs> Alright, let's get these teeth in. Oh, the snapshot. Again. candles. I'll do it later. Base from that first. Probably extend this down to be fun shape. Thanks, Alex. Take care. Yes, I am. I am using a Intuos 3.
Love that username. Um, so if you want to put this in game, you'd have to we'd apologize it, um, bake all the textures down, uh, texture it, and then send it in game, which can take quite a while. Hello, username that I sadly cannot pronounce or read. Thank you. sharpen these teeth or something. I just want to give me more. And if this is fine. Yeah, they're too dense. <laughs> um. All right. Let's see. We don't, we don't really need to project these since they don't really have a particular shape that I want to retain. Let's see how dense it is. No, it's too dense. Point one. Yeah, sure. Thanks, man. Um, I hope so too. I'll see you around.
I I did not abandon our station. I just haven't posted in a while. Yep. I know. <laughs> Trust me, I know. Yep. Busy year. These are all here, so I'm gonna merge them. And just do a quick zero mesh. Okay, that's fine. We save the file. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if I will. It's not really my my thing. It would, it could, it could. Damn, that's really dark. Um, I used to have a Cintiq uh, until quite recently, but I ended up selling it uh, just because, I don't know, I didn't enjoy it as much after a while. Like I had it for a couple of years. Um but it ended up just hurting my back. And it was just I don't know, just awkward. Like I like uh I like being able to lean back in my chair while I'm sculpting. Not being kinda of hunched over.
but you know, everybody's their own. Um, but it's not really a requirement to make good art, since the, at, the, at the end of the day, it's just a tool. So, you know, if it works for you, that's great. This is a stream for Wacom right now. I mean, I am using Wacom, Wacom tablet right now, so you know, just personal preference. Guys, I'm just quickly gonna get some water because I'm out. I'll be right back. Oh well, this screensaver turns on very fast. <laughs> yeah, like I underestimated um, how dry my mouth gets when uh, <laughs> just the constant talking. Sorry guys, just a minute. Oh, it's just water, man. Right, now it's a good time. Scheduling stuff. Uh, since someone is gonna come on after me eventually, which actually, let me check when that is. Um, so, don't wanna cut into their stream. Oh, 
always a good time. Yeah, now we got time. Um, I just wanna, I don't wanna push it too close. Um, but yeah, let's see how far we get in like another hour. Uh, then sometime around that, I'll probably just try and wrap this up. Oh uh, yeah, like I'm, I'm gonna try and sharpen them quite a bit, since it's literally just like the move brush right now. So you know, um, let's see what we can do. It's very sharp. Uh, probably not, um, since it takes me quite a while to get them to, to great nicely. If I do decide to make another stream, like with this, uh, with the predator head, I might try and detail it actually. But I don't think I'll do it this stream, just because there's not enough time. Give it some sharpness towards the edge of the spike. That's very sharp though. It's a bit much. So it's just because currently somebody has a stream in five hours, um, I think, in a couple of hours. So um, just I don't really wanna, like I just don't wanna overlap. Like it just depends who's after you. Uh, it seems that they're quite flexible when it comes to how long you can stream. I would quite like to sleep at some point <laughs> since it's already uh, half past eight over here. Which isn't really late, but you know, I, I got stuff to do as well. <laughs> so.
yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have all my reference on my second monitor, uh, which is also where you know my webcam is attached to. Um, otherwise, I would be very lost right now. Yeah, they are very deformed. Um, I believe it's supposed to be more like kind of an insect uh, with the four mandibles. Yeah, figuring out how their mouth works is uh, very interesting. Oh, it's basically it's just a modify uh, modified clay buildup, just my own brush. Uh, Brushes you use don't really matter. Uh, I mean, so to some extent, they do um, to the point where I know we just I, I switch between three different brushes mainly just because they give me different shapes. So like my custom brush basically, which is modified clay buildup, gives me kind of this. Let me turn off symmetry for a sec. Gives me this planar shape, right? So you can get kind of kind of a flat surface extrusion. Um, and you know you can kind of abuse it as a trim, trim dynamic bit as well. Um, so you know you have this type of brush, then you have a standard brush, which is just you know kind of rounded, rounded uh, shape it creates, and then you have damp standard, which kind of just gives you quite a sharp angle. And you basically you only need, in my opinion, you only need these three types of brushes that give you these kind of shapes. Um, and you basically be able to sculpt anything.
Oh, that's just damn standard. So, uh, if you press Alt, you just get that. And then you can sharpen it. Uh, with the default time standard. Uh, Cinema 4D, I have not. Maybe I will. Um, like I'm, I'm quite happy with Max or Maya, so I never really saw a reason to try it. <laughs> I get that reference. That's cool. Um, what are we doing? Let's see if we can get some hair blocked in on this guy. Oops, did not mean to do that. Uh, yeah, I do it all the time, to be honest. Yes, that is for sure Lisa Simpson when she gets really mad. Um, yeah, let's kind of stick some hair on him. Mm, actually, can I use the curve brush on the old uh, Dynamesh just to get a curve out that I can use? I'll just use the normal move brush to get something out. Split this off. Split unmasked point. There we go.
<laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that is very corny. Um, but I appreciate the joke. Try and make this not just purely straight. Because that would look very weird. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with normal kind of true black hair. But like some where he has kind of scales on them. But I'm just gonna go with uh, I guess the more classic one. guy to somehow look good, so I'm not sure I would handle that. Which character? Nobody has told me that so far. I 
am getting a bit tired, and it is quite warm. Well, it has been quite warm today. No, it's fine. Um. Um, yeah, we just started having sunny weather after it being really rainy for like, quite a while. It's quite awful. What time is it? Um, let's see what I can do. Uh, kind of a mix, like I'm just mi mixing together a bunch of reference um, that I have on my second screen. So like, uh, I got a bunch of stuff here. Particle thing? I'm not sure what you mean. Just trying to get the sky slowly wrapped up.
from what I know, there isn't a way to make particles in ZBrush. Uh, if you have to make this character, which is not real, how what details would you give it to make it look like in movies? Uh, I'll probably just try and combine references from, I don't know, lots of different creatures, I guess. Not sure which, to be honest. Like, I'd, I'd have to do some research. been sculpting for about six years. Kind of, like, I mean, I wouldn't give it exact human skin, so that would be kind of weird. Um, but yeah, just high frequency stuff, like high frequency details, where skin pores will go under. Um, but I wouldn't give it exact human pores. Thank you. Santiago. Very, very fluffy. I'll just give this guy a ton of hair everywhere. and break up the hair to make it look less uh, unnatural, just breaking up the repeating pattern. Oof. So are you asking me if this were for a game, would I sculpt it with the mouth open or closed? Um, at least that's how I'm interpreting the question. Um, I'm not even sure, I think, just, you normally just trying to go for a kind of an in-between, uh, of like the range of motion. Um, I don't think there will be that many issues. I mean, there will be some, but... be the end of the world. Oh, uh, so there's like a joint here. Oh. It's like a joint here. God damn it. There's a joint here, there's a joint here, uh, and then there's a joint here and here. At least that's kind of how I see it. Like, I mean, they got it to work in animatronics, so it is possible. I 
Street. Break this up more. Not more. Yeah, I mean, thankfully I don't need to know how to rig. I just need to know what, what they need. Oh, right. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, kind of a tough question. Since uh, I don't I don't work with blend shapes right now. I'm 22. Uh, probably. Uh, I'm not really gonna try and close it since I don't want to. <laughs> um, it will probably take some general more, in general, a bit more tweaking. Um, like this is quite wobbly. I think it doesn't feel like a proper joint yet. I do think it's plausible. I am very, very old, dude. Yeah, um, I'll probably use layers if I do want to like close the mouth and open it and just see how it looks. Uh, but I'm, I'm not going to do that. I don't know, maybe. Um, I'm not sure to be honest. Uh, like it depends what kind of uh, how far they want me to take it and everything. Um, 
how much time I have. Like how much time I have to spend on it. So I'm, I'm not really sure like how much I'm doing. Gonna do any commissions for now. If that's what you're um, trying to get after. I, I don't know. I have to think about it. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you want to rig it, I would have to reapologize apologize it, which would take more time. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I play games. Um, not that much these days. Like, I'm trying to read more. Um, but I got uh, Resident Evil 7. Since I figured I'd play it before I played Resident Evil 8, which I've just been playing every now and then. I use an Intuos, a Wacom Intuos 3. It is very old. Um, like, I used to use Cintiq, but I just. After a while, it just didn't really work for me anymore. So now I use, I use this one. Oh damn, dude. I mean, I'm not sure how much you're gonna miss in the end, since I am just trying to finish this guy up. There's not much really left, I think. Um. Oh yeah, like I'm, I'm, I'm full-time employed. Um, if that question is directed at me. Like, uh, I work at Frontier Developments in Cambridge. Mm -hmm. uh, since where I am right now. Oh, right. Um, oof. Could you... So what was the question was... Was it what you should have in your portfolio to get an internship? Um, so in terms of what's what it's been like to be full-time employed in 3D... Uh, I don't know, it's a, it's a good job, like, uh, working games. Uh, it is, at the end of the day, it is still, you know, a job. Um, so, you know, it's not look amazing all the time, but I do quite enjoy it. Thank you, Flynn. Um, well, I'll probably just try and apply if there are openings, you know. Uh, put, try and get some bunch of solid pieces in your portfolio. And then just you know apply for junior roles or internships. Uh, just be sure 
uh, make sure you're clear what you really want to do and then it shows your portfolio mm. a good niche to focus on if you want to get into the industry quickly oof um, I mean I wouldn't really focus on getting in quickly I just focus on you know being able to get work that ultimately you enjoy because if you don't you know, end up enjoying your job, then, you know, what's the point? <laughs> right. See ya, Ibrahim. Alright, I'm about done with this guy, I think. I think I'm gonna try and wrap it up in... by half past. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, like I've been really trying to step up like my kind of sculpting game uh, over like, like in the past one and a half years, despite COVID being kind of throwing a wrench in the whole thing. Uh, but I think as long as you do like um, you have a clear vision of what you want to learn when you're doing studies, for example. Uh, you should be fine. Let's give him some more hair. Um, duplicate, scale it down. Hide this. Disable mm, this one. Pull it back out. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, man. See you, Monte. I see you around. Uh, I've been sculpting for about six years now, uh, but mainly just really focusing on improving it over like the past one and a half years. Uh, all right. Let, please let me know how to dynamesh without closing holes. Um, There are a couple of ways I think. So if you're if you have a, a large hole, uh, you should be fine. Uh, uh, oh god, too many questions. Um, right. Let me know how to turn with that closing holes. Uh, well, it only depends how the distance between you know the opening of the hole, um, like what 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 normally can help is if you uh, let's see. I don't really know how to explain to be honest, uh, but a good way if you want to make a hole is to either use a boolean, or uh, you could use an insert mesh. 
uh, and set it to subtractive. So instead of if you're using, an, let's see if I can do it now actually. Let's pick up the time. Kind of, not really. Um, save it in case it crashes. So if you just want to make a hold, you can do. Um, I'm on primitives. And I'm just going to use a sphere. Uh, and I'm pressing Alt and have it set to subtract. No, wait. Is it like this? Yeah. So I just have it set. Sorry. I have it set to Z's up. And I just uh, drag it up normally. And then I think. Ah. Sorry. Okay, let me try again. Uh, you, dra you press Alt while you drag it out. Um, and you move it into position. Then you should. Yeah. Uh, so basically, when you're using the IMM brush, uh, when you're using the IMM brush, uh, while you drag on the mesh, have it set to uh, C sub and have Alt pressed, and then you can just move it however you want, and just press down the mesh again, and you get a hole, like a proper one. Um, so this way you can't. Sometimes it can be an issue if you don't have a face in between. Um, it can just close it, but this way you can keep your hole, and then you know you can you can tweak it however you want. Uh, so you know I don't know. Just like it's wider, it's fine. Um, if this somewhat answers your question, I'm a bit rusty when it comes to some of the technical things in ZBrush. Um, yeah. Anyway. Um, <sighs> uh, so my PC specs, um, I have 32 gigs of RAM, uh, an i7 4077K, which is very old, um, and I have a 980 Ti, I, I guess it's the most relevant things. Um, yeah, you don't need a killer machine to run ZBrush. Uh, it just depends how dense your model up, models get. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, H the Bald. Uh, <laughs> Guys, uh, I gotta take a really quick break. I'll be right back.
gonna break the seal tree in this area here. <laughs> nah, that series is just concentrated, kind of. Um, I'd like to. Um, I plan to stream more regularly uh, here. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see what happens. When, um, I'm not sure if I know yet when my next stream will be. I'd have to check. Um, it honestly is really hard uh, getting your first job in 3D. Like I, I struggled quite a bit. Uh, but once you kind of just get your foot in the door, you're just in. But just getting that initial first gig is just really difficult. So if you you know if you don't um, manage to get it instantly, it's fine. Just keep applying. Yeah, yeah, and I totally get that. Like, a lot of people just want seniors uh, at this point, which makes it really hard if you want to start off as a junior, since there just really aren't that many positions or places that are looking for juniors. Uh, <laughs>
press Shift D, not Shift F. Thanks, Dorkan. Uh, yeah, I, I am using two monitors. I don't know, like I'm actually working at the office right now. Um, there just aren't a lot of people around, so they're also working from home. Also, I'm not sure how some policies might have changed with Brexit, because I'm, I'm in the UK. I might do Xenomorph at one point. Why not? Uh, yeah, maybe. It kind of depends what I feel like. Depends on the role, I think. Uh, so, you know, obviously, if you're applying for a junior role, uh, you're not expected to have any experience, really. Uh, but, you know, if it's like a regular position, people still want experience because uh, they want to be able to know if you can, yeah, if you can communicate, uh, get things done on time, etc. So yeah, it, it does. It does matter.
Thank you. Thanks, Alex. Uh, I'm really trying to wrap him up. <laughs> um, so let's see how that goes. Uh, I'm kind of going under the idea that I am going to end it in about half an hour. Oh, crap. But I did say that half an hour ago, so... You know. Yeah, it's getting late. It's like half past nine. And I have work tomorrow, so... That does sound fun. Um, it's been a while since I've seen the movie, so I'm not sure which scene that one is in. Is it the one? Like, I don't... I remember the, when it was transforming in one sequence, when like, the face was splitting, but I think there was like a dog at the beginning. Flesh to help. Oh god, Let's see what you turned off.
Thanks, Tristan. I'll try, I'll try. <sighs> oh, right. I think I know which one you mean. I mean, it sounds like a really fun uh, thing to sculpt, to be honest. So the only thing I'm going to end up doing now is um, three things really. Uh, get something into the hair, quickly fix up the gums, and then give it some asymmetry with the mandibles. Oh nice, yeah, look, it's, it is a really good movie. Um, and yes, yeah, I have sculpted this guy just within this stream. Entire camera. Uh, I don't. I don't have my own uh, Twitch channel. Uh, I know. Yeah, I have an Instagram. Uh, I can link at the end or now if anybody's interested. Uh, but as of right now, I'm. I'm not doing any personal streams. crazy. Um. Sure. Uh, one second. I'll, I'll try and add it to my uh, banner here on the stream for next time. Uh, so that should make it a bit easier. Oh, damn. Yeah. Get some sleep, dude. Thanks for stopping by.
Thank you. Uh, so Frontier, uh, I very briefly worked on Planet Zoo, um, and then on a project that has not been announced yet. Um, yeah, like I can't, I can't talk about it. Um, but yeah, I've, I've been uh, to answer Columbian Bar's question. I've been sculpting for about six years, five, six years. I mean, I think we actually have an opening right now for a uh, character artist. Uh, I'm not sure though, like you just have a look at the website. Uh, but yeah, if you see an opening, just apply. Thank you. some very talented artists.
Uh, yes, I am about to. I already have a bit, but not really with the mandibles that much. Oh, no, no, they definitely can't. Do that. I have not. I don't think it will be that much of a difference, at least in the face. Um, let me make some hair stuff real quick.
Oh, nice. Sucks about the power outage, though. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Uh, I mean, there's a difference between sculpting hair and creating hair cards. Um, like there are a bunch of kind of articles and papers on it out there, thankfully. So, uh, yeah, if you look hard enough or just try to compare different sources, I'm sure you found something. Um, also, congrats on the 3D gig, Dalton. Trying to sharpen the edge of this a bit. Um, what is working games? You kind of end up using X Gen to make uh, hair cards. So I, I, don't, I don't, like I've used Fiverr Mesh before, um, at least, like it did its job, for what I wanted at the time, but uh, if you're talking about making hair for games in production, um, the way we do it is we use XGen. You could do it with Fiverr Mesh as well, like there are articles and stuff about it. There's no, there's not a single way. Like, there's not just one way to make something. Oh no. It's fine. Yeah, sure. Thanks for checking in, dude. I'll see you around.
Uh, so I haven't really drawn in a very, very long time. I just think I'm okay at it. I'm not really great at this point. Um, but it does seem to help um, when it comes to just sculpting. But you don't need to. Uh, you, need, you you don't need to know how to draw to be a good sculptor. Thankfully. See, maybe I can put another one here. Uh, it could be. Um, yeah, possibly. Like, I don't see why not, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Like I said, you don't, you don't need to know how to draw to sculpt or texture well. I think some principles can transfer. Um, but if you don't know how to do it, don't worry about it.
Alright, let's quickly make the spikes. Uh, uh, ah, get them the spikes first. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's see, insert, cylinder. Oh god. Yeah. I can I can definitely feel that it has been four hours. Trust me. <laughs> Ah, oh, thank you. Spikes are placed, and then I'm gonna head off because it has been four hours, and I am getting quite tired. <laughs> uh, let's see, it's, it's medium length. Oops. Hey Seth. I will do the right 
side first. Thanks. Come on. groups Oh, no, I didn't need to do that.
Thanks. Uh, it's supposed to be the predator. Um, I'm gonna zoom out in a sec. Because I have to anyway. Let's go. Yeah, you guys probably shouldn't be spamming. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> hey guys. I actually don't know. <laughs> oh, I can. Um, <laughs> well, if, if people start spamming again, I guess I will. Otherwise, the, the chat will just be a complete mess. So please don't. So I'm just copying the predator. Uh, about to finish for today. in ZBrush or in general. Like I have I have done both. Uh, I mean I don't really do it much these days just because you know I do I mean you do organic uh, characters. But uh, but yeah like I've done it before. Like I've done guns and stuff. Um, but as it's been quite a while.
Are you asking me how you should get started on sculpting? Number one is just just start, just start sculpting something. Uh, you know, figure out the software, uh, and then kind of start um, working on things like structure and proportions. Uh, depending on what you want to sculpt, if you want to do organic stuff, practice organic. Uh, you know, characters. Uh, definitely look at anatomy. If you're gonna be doing hard server stuff. Um, try and uh, you know just study that. Um, there are like tons of videos on on YouTube. Like uh, you know, there's someone's the classroom. Uh, I think Michael Pavlovich has a good series on hard surface. I heard. Uh, but if you just want to get started in ZBrush, I definitely recommend Z Classroom. Um, so if you just write in the chat. Uh, no, I do not speak Spanish. Uh, I speak English and German, but sadly not Spanish. Alright, uh, yeah, I think that's that's it for today, or just this time around. Um, uh, okay, oof. one final question, why not? Um, they, you mean the small fine hairs, right? Like the eyebrows. Uh, those would probably be alpha cards, um, and if you have the budget, maybe geometry. Uh, <laughs> um, crap, I'm not sure. Let me check. Oh, God, that's bright. <laughs> um, So, so far only today, um, at least checking the schedule, uh, I post my social media uh, in the chat, if anybody wants to watch it, like follow me on Instagram, um, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted when there will be a new stream, since, you know, this is my first, so it's kind of like a, a test run, like first, you know, first one with ZBrush. Um, but yeah, I'll post my Instagram in the chat, uh, so you can follow me there, uh, and you know, I'll make the story, I guess, if there's a new stream, I'll let you guys know. Um, so this is my Instagram, uh, I also set my art station for those who want to follow me there. Thanks, Dolkan. 
hope I'm pronouncing that right. I uh, really appreciate it. Um, Alright, yeah. Uh, it has been really fun. Like, I really enjoyed this. Um, so I'll see you guys next time around. Alright. Take care, guys. See you around.